What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Phoenix, Arizona, Four Peaks Recreational Area to be exact, and today we're on a mission. Today we wanna fill up two container loads filled with garbage, so we're doing this trail cleanup with Tread Lightly. The bulldozers just got here, let's get to it. documenting everything from the donation up until this point. Awesome. We just want to be able to you know, showcase what we're doing, inspire other people to come out here. I think it's great. My name is Chad Chaney. I'm with the Copper State Four Wheelers. Through the years, we've progressively gotten bigger and bigger and bigger trash loads. Last year, uh, our volunteers hauled out 24,000 pounds of garbage just in one day. We're going to shoot for 15,000 pounds of garbage today. All right, let's go. All right guys, we got Brian on board and right now we're headed to where all the garbage is. I am Brian Higgins, I'm the marketing manager for Tread Lightly. I help uh, keep America's public lands uh, open for motorized recreation, which is really cool. Uh, a lot of rubbish out there that uh, all these volunteers come out and give up their Saturday. It's a wonderful, lovely day here in, in Arizona and it's great to be able to see this community of people coming together to, to, for the greater good. kinds of metal, appliances, computers. Man, you name it, people just take it out here, blow it up, and then leave it as a mess. I'm here with Scott. We're about to go, where are we going, Scott? We're gonna go check out some of the washes, show you all the filth that the shooters leave behind. All right, let's do it. Oh, this so is a giant TV. Giant TV, yep. Yeah, that's all the and uh, that's all the insulation. Well, my name is Pat Doherty. I'm from Casa Grande. I'm here for the Four Peaks cleanup. I come every year. This is my fifth year. It's all good. I suggest everybody come out and help. Getting a little bit better every year. But as you can see, we still have a long way to go. This is what we come out here for to pick this stuff up. All right guys, so we just finished finding what seems to be an absolutely destroyed, what, bridge? Yeah, it could be a bridge or it could be a, you know, a container of some sort, but people bring out their trash and stuff and, and it's sort of known, the term is trigger trash, you know, because they're using these as targets. But you always gotta be careful because you never know what sort of chemicals just start leaking out of these things, which can really damage, so. And we're putting it in of the rental. You guys are some shovels. All right guys, so check it out. There's a bunch of trigger trash everywhere. Just gun shells, cartridges, just, and look at how small these things are. I mean, they're extremely tedious to just go around picking up. And uh, although there's tons of volunteers that are willing to come out and help, if you're in a designated area that you're, where you're allowed to shoot, perfectly fine to come out and do it but when you're done you know it doesn't take much to just pick up your your shells and, and put them in a garbage bag and just take them back home you know as most of you guys know there's a lot of places that get shut down just because of this simple problem you know um, it's crazy to see just out here everywhere how much trash there is so if you guys want to avoid getting you know your area shut down just try to try to keep the word out you know let's not have them closed down so this is a magnet roller. Basically you go around and all the shells just attach to it because it's magnetic.
This rental, man. <laughs> this rental. It's a Tacoma, I can take it. All right, guys, we've been cleaning here for a couple of hours, showing you guys the damaged areas. Now it's time to head back to camp. What do we have back there? Oh, we're gonna get some grub, so we've got the energy to come out and do it again this afternoon. Let's do it. turn to dump in all this garbage we're extremely far away from our goal which is to fill up two container loads but we're gonna make it happen guys whatever it takes how awesome is that all the people that you guys just saw right now, they're volunteering to be out here doing this. So right now we are starving. It's the middle of the day. We're just gonna go eat and then we gotta hit the trails again and keep going. Now one thing I wanna point out with this year's cleanup, this is really the first full year of that new shooting and target shooting rule out here where you can only shoot paper, wood, and metal targets. No more water heaters. Furniture, gas tanks, no more of that other stuff like a somebody else brought a toilet in today. So no more of that stuff. So I'm, I'm unloading some of those, those vehicles back there watching and I'm seeing how little garbage there is and I'm kind of excited about that. So a uh, round of applause to all of you who have come out here and helped us clean that up. Tacoma Beast for helping us out this year with putting this cleanup on. My name's Jim Nossett with Copper State Four Wheelers and we're out here at the Four Peaks Cleanup. We had a kids contest today to collect the most shells and it was 542.6 pounds with the winner having 115 pounds. going guys for those of you that don't know me my name is Mateo I'm the founder of Tacoma Beast and I just want to personally say thanks to each and every one of you guys for coming out here I'm extremely inspired about a year ago I had no idea that uh, that you guys were coming out here to do what you guys do and I'm not gonna lie I'm extremely inspired seeing you guys come out here taking some time off your weekend to come out and do this is it's absolutely awesome so thank you so much I think you guys all deserve a round of applause for doing that so So how much do you think we would have filled up if we, we added all the garbage together? Do you think we reached two containers? I think two. I think two, two at the most, yeah. which we've always taken out more, but it's because they've started a new um, target new law. shooting law. So I want you guys to think of something real quick. The bulldozer, the container. Everything you guys see here was thanks to you guys. Whether you purchase a tread lightly patch, a t-shirt, you were able to help us raise $13,000. Let's not forget the volunteers that came out on this weekend. We had a total of 197 
volunteers that came out to help us pick up the garbage. You guys heard the man, we were able to gather between the four containers to fill up technically two containers filled with garbage. So thank you. Without you guys, we would have not been able to make this happen. That about wraps it up for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. And I will see you in the next adventure.